Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Review. This is a new one for Mitsubishi, among the Shoguns and L200s that date back to the age of cave paintings and hair elephants. If you had bad taste in films in the early 2000s you might remember there used to be a front-drive Mitsubishi coupe called the Eclipse, but now the name belongs to this lumpy-looking crossover. Looks big, doesn't it? In pictures, I thought this was a proper family-sized SUV, standing shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with a Land Rover Discovery Sport or Mazda CX-5. But no, the Eclipse Cross is a size smaller, giving Mitsubishi a crucial toehold in the Nissan Qashqai's territory. And the Kia Spartages. And the Ford Kuga, and Sitka. This is an SUV which isn't shy about seating its occupants high, to obtain a commanding view down the road. Fine by us, crossovers that aim for low, car-like seating positions should be filed among other useless entities. Chocolate teapots. And all infinitus. Eclipse Cross drivers lord it over Qashqai's and Spartages in stature, but not in quality ambience. If the standard fit Apple CarPlay and Android Auto loses its novelty, you can have a good game of Japanese interior design surface bingo extra points for fake carbon fiber and dubious metal, and play hunt the switch gear among the admittedly interesting look dear dashboard. Fundamentally, the driving position is sound, the seats comfortable, the dials easy to read and so on. But the switch gear isn't as professionally thought out as what the Koreans are doing now. Or copying off Audi, at any rate. The 1.5-liter petrol is a reasonably free revving and generally fit-for-purpose power plant.